This is the Commodity Scrap Metal Recycling and Economic Report, September 5th, 2023. U.S. weekly raw steel production fell to 1.733 million tons, a 76.2% steel mill utilization rate. This was on slow manufacturing economic activity, but okay exports of steel. WTI crude oil price rose to 85.23 a barrel on continued OPEC plus production cuts and slow demand increases. The U.S. weekly oil rig count was steady at 5.12, down a staggering 68.1% from 2014's high of 16.09. Moreover, this was on higher productivity per well and keeping supplies tight to maximize profits. U.S. weekly crude oil production was steady at 12.8 million barrels per day, near a three and a half year high. The higher oil price allows the U.S. to pump more oil while profits remain high. U.S. oil exports remain near a record. The U.S. is not only an energy independent country, but we are a net exporter of energy. Scrap steel number one HMS price was steady at 330 a gross ton. September prices may be little changed. Hot roll coil steel price fell to 3570 for 100 weight, which is 715 a ton on slow manufacturing activity. Copper price rose to $3.85 a pound on Chinese economic incentives for housing construction. Also, high electric vehicle demand continues to support prices. Aluminum price rose to $1 to a pound, which is $22.40 a metric ton on reduced Chinese production to cut pollution. U.S. August Manufacturing PMI Activity Index fell to 47.9, while under 50 means contraction, so manufacturing is contracting faster. Also, this was on a sharp drop in new orders, and inflation increased slightly. Related, employment was up slightly on expectations of future growth. U.S. August new jobs created rose to 187,000, which was below 200,000 for the third month, so there was a cooling job market. Healthcare, hospitality, social assistance gained the most, while motion picture fell, as well as manufacturing, retail, and government had little change. U.S. August labor force participation rate. Remember, this is people 16 years old or older that are working or looking for work. It rose to 62.8, the highest since February 2020, but that means 37.2% of people are not working or even looking for work. This increase is great news, though, in that there are now less people sitting at home on government assistance and they're paying taxes. U.S. unemployment rate rose to 3.8%, which is still near the decade's low. It rose not because people were laid off, but because 736,000 people joined the workforce. They took jobs or started looking for work, so the more people partly increases the percent unemployed. Total U.S. workforce rose to 167.8 million people, the highest in American history. Inflation is still too high, but the economy is pretty good. U.S. August increase in hourly earnings rose to 4.3% versus last year. This is good news and bad news. The good news is 4.3% is above the current 3.2% inflation. The bad news is 4.3% is well above the 2% inflation target, so it's inflationary. Wall Street's Dow Jones Industrial Average fell 337 points to 34,835 on lower jobs data that was positive, but on some poor corporate earnings. Roll-off trailers by Ben Lee. Ben Lee has a full line from our 25-foot, 11-inch tandem axle trailer to the 50-foot, 8-axle roll-off trailer. All are heavy-duty, but optimized to carry the most weight. This report is brought to you by Ben Lee Roll-Off Trailers, Gondola Trailers, Lugger Trucks, and Roll-Off Trailer Parts. As always, feel free to call or email me with any questions, and we hope all have a safe and profitable week.